Well, I heard somebody use this uh, saying, criticizing, uh, arrogantly criticizing God's work. And it's almost like having too much humility or thinking that like I'm on the low end and arrogance is like I'm better than, but this is like self-loathing, thinking that I'm less than. And I got to just think about how, for me, I think that God created me. So he created me. I didn't create this body, this image or anything. He created me. And so why should I hate on that? Why should I put negative energy towards myself? I should be here loving myself and caring about who I am and, you know, not like embellishing myself or being arrogant, but just really seeing. And again, it, it comes down to acceptance. But uh, really, I think the solution is to love myself and to really just take care of myself, be good to myself. Because I really am my own worst enemy. And I've, I'm, the ones that, I'm the one that put the drugs in my body and was slowly committing suicide for a very long time because I didn't like who I was. And I always tried to change myself, to fix myself, to be somebody else. But at some point I had to take the mask off and, to, and reveal myself to other people and to share with other people who I am. And through doing that, I learned a great deal about myself. And I don't know, I, for a long time I couldn't look myself in the mirror. I didn't like the way I looked. I didn't like the way I sound. Still today, I don't always like the way I look or the way I sound or the way I act or things about me. But I don't have to have hatred towards myself. I don't have to have such negative feelings. I mean, there's nothing I can do about the way I look or I sound. I mean, maybe I can like cut my hair or I can take better care of myself. I can work out. That's a solution. I don't like this gut I got, so I'm in the gym every day doing core exercises, getting on the treadmill, all that stuff. I think that also helps with self-esteem, confidence, and all that. And also having a good diet is very important. Just eating the right things, natural things. I, I don't eat enough vegetables. That's something I gotta start doing. And I don't know, it just comes back to loving myself. You know, why should I hate myself? At least I can start to like myself and accept myself. And then later on I can love myself. And maybe it's good for me to just be around other people that care about me as well. And they'll pretty much love me until I start to love myself. Because there are people out there that care about me. And that's a great thing. Out there using, nobody cared about me. Except, like, my family members. And the people that were using drugs and selling to me and I was selling to them, we were all just using each other. But... I can see now that the people I surround myself with now really do care about me and have my best interests at heart. And so that's a good thing to realize. And I know a lot of you out there may be struggling with drugs and maybe you're in counseling or rehab or detox or whatever. I know I resisted help for a long time. But I think it's important to realize that these people out there really do care about you and they're trying to help you. 
And this, like, it's not a punishment going to rehab or going to counseling. It's really a privilege, I would say. And you don't have to go to counseling or rehab. You could go to a, a meeting, a 12-step meeting. Not everybody has. To. My experience is I did go to rehab, and that helped me out a lot. But the message is that a lot of people cared about me and do care about me. So if they care about me, then why shouldn't I care about myself? I need to learn to forgive myself for the past and the things I've done in the past and just relinquish some of that shame, guilt, and remorse. And having that fear and that anger and resentment it's like this triangle of self-obsession. I, I got to just have acceptance, love, faith, humility, some of these spiritual principles, and incorporate it into my life. And then I just start to love myself, and I become a better person, and then I can go out there and help other people, and <laughs> I can start to love other people. I can't really love other people until I start to love myself. I can't build relationships with other people until I build a relationship with myself and with my higher power. And like I said, I cause more harm to myself than anybody else. So first I got to make amends to me and forgive me for what I've done. And through that process, then I can go out there into society and be a productive member.